below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Well, I have no motivation whatsoever. I am just in one of those day moods where I like, couldn't give a crap <laughs> doing anything. I'm so like, ugh. And I was gonna come down and saw up all the dead wood and store it nice and tidy. But I can't get to my electric saw because the coal house where it's in is like chocker and it's buried and I just can't be asked digging it out basically. So I'm going to try and get off my fat ass and store the wood a little bit better and sort in there. But I don't have enough battery power to do any time lapses so you'll just see the scene and then what I've done. Depending on how I feel, <laughs> which I get done, who knows, but yeah. I've been on the van all week. My Polish, if you remember the other year I had it pulled out. Um, it's kind of sore, but not too bad. So I need to go a lot easier. Easy said than done when you're on the van. I'm on the van this week as well, coming up. And it's Strocker. So, but on another note, I have seen the site manager. And if you remember in my last video, I was on about seeing if I could get a bigger shed, like a 6x6 six six shed. Because both structures with the sh shack and the shed. It is 6x6 six six, and they weren't too bothered when I put that up and they said oh yeah it's not a proper structure so it's fine. And I only put that little shack thing up to keep keep me from getting wet. When it started raining I could shelter under there because the little shed there's not a lot of room in there but then I got this shed for my taxi um, I work. I, I do actually work in there and do repairs and stuff to certain things for my plot so I do actually use it for the allotment as well so it will it does get used for the allotment too um, yeah so I saw the site manager today I know Brian thank you Brian yeah it's a little bit different on this plot because my plot I'm the only tenant on this plot to exist and it's a bit different up here in York like you know the some people, some some sites in York are a bit funny, but cause that shed has had that existing structure for a while, uh, I asked my site manager, the wonderful Phil, and he was like, "Well, isn't that about six by six with the little, you know, your little shack is about six by six added onto the shed, and yeah, and it doesn't like stru struct anything on." No, it, you're just basically replacing it for something a bit better and, and it looked tidy. I went, yeah. He went, yeah, I don't see why not. He says, go for it. <laughs> so uh, when my friend comes down from the Highlands, because she's still looking for a house, she ended up in a ditch the other day in her car. So, she's okay, she's okay, she's fine. She's enjoying life. 74, moved out. Up in the Highlands, trying to find a house and enjoying life in new hostels. Go on, lass. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, yeah. So yeah, when she comes down on my week off, because I'm working. I when next Monday I break up for from the 14th to the 21st, so I'm gonna have quite a lot of time off. So when she does come down, um when she gets sick because she's taking the car to the garage so hopefully I can get to Vertigra order a new shed de depending how long they can fit me in I don't know because the shed that's here at the moment where I'm sat I ordered that in lockdown like after the first lockdown and they couldn't fit me in until o October so I don't know what it is like now because they said they had a backlog. So I don't know what it is now, but you know, if they can fit me in summertime, 
So hopefully most of Jane's stuff has she's found some by then and it's gone then all I have to do is empty my water butts because I've already tidied down there I can just bring everything up take everything out Bob's your uncle and Bobby's just down there my Robin he's so sweet um, yeah then I can just basically clear everything out because everything's quite tidy down there and then I can just basically take the shed take the shack down take the shed down I know uh, it took me ages to put that shack up but it I just I think having another shed be so more beneficial a bigger sh bigger shed a new you know new shed with with without holes in the floor and no rats trying to get in that would be nice and I'd probably put mesh under it I need to do that with this shed as well at some point put some mesh so rats can't get underneath because I've had this shed for quite since 2020 and because it's raised up off the floor the the floor's fine but in the other shed the floor's collapsing so yeah I'm going to crack on I'm going to try and crack on I'll speak to you guys <laughs> when I'm done see you soon well welcome back um, it's getting better I've put some nesting boxes up so we've got a wren one I don't know if I can get down here I fall and break myself. A wren box down there. I've already got a previous nesting box up there. That's I've actually seen. A, I was sat down here earlier and I saw a blue tick go in there. The more birds I can attract to help the ecosystem, the better. And I've got Bobby a, a nesting box down there. That little green thing down there on the side there. That, he's already been inspecting it. He's very, very curious, is my my little friend Bobby. In there's looking better. And once I get the new shed, some of this stuff can like I can split half of it gardening and half of it storage for taxidermy. I've like put all the dead wood in one side and a bit of rubbish and stuff to that side. Put all my canes there. So it's, it's looking better. I've still got down, like I've still got all this stuff to sort out, but I'm getting there. I felt a bit cold, so I had a bit of a a little bit of a bonfire because I, I just felt cold, you know. I'm gonna stink of cigarette. I'm gonna stink of smoke now, but it's kept me warm. That's the main thing. So yeah, um, I'm going to go home. Have some food and fix my nephew's bike again because he's got another flat tyre. So on that note, I'm still can't be asked doing anything. I just, I just really can't be. Sorry, I can't be fucked. I'm just that way out. So on that note, <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And hopefully in the future, new shed coming soon. When I get to Vertigo. Bye for now.